When you get customer inquiries for your mobile bar, what do you ask? I feel like I'm pushing all of my potential clients away. What am I saying wrong? Here's what I ask for a name, phone, location, guest count. Basically, she says everything about the event. So yeah, a sales conversation is, everybody does things a little bit differently. And there's some good comments below. I saw Jennifer here says, I get them excited about talking about their event. When they're on the phone, I ask them to tell me what their vision is, what they're looking for, it creates a bond and um, ask what they're looking out of me instead of selling them on something that's too much or it may be too little. I always see people talking about energy and, and different aspects of what needs to be happening during the call, but I feel like a lot of small business owners and mobile bartenders don't actually know why certain things work and, and why they don't. And the question thing, you should always be asking questions and doing more listening during that discovery call to better understand who that buyer actually is, what are they worried about, what are they focused on getting out of the mobile bar, are they somebody that really values like cost or they don't really care about cost and they're looking for the best thing possible. I mean, if you're not speaking to the buyer and what they want, or if you don't have that information at all, it's gonna be an uphill battle and it's gonna be really difficult. The energy stuff is, like a lot of people think they need to be almost like a Grant Cardone or who's that like? pyramid scheme girl, Rachel Hollis, and have just this really high energy and be somebody's best friend. But it's really not about that. It's about asking questions and doing that listening and making that person feel like they're understood. I think about when I was like 24 or 25, just like every other mid 20s person, and you're worried about like the direction of your life and you don't like your job. If you're going into somebody who's trying to sell you like life coaching or career coaching and they just kind of dig questions and ask questions that they're asking really anybody else that are just very cookie cutter, you're not going to feel very confident in their ability to really take care of your problem. And if I go and talk to somebody else who says right away recognizes the type of person that I am, if they say something like, hey, some of the best men in the history of the world didn't find their groove until 35. First things first, Stop freaking out. Second part, let's figure out exactly what you're looking for. Here's what I recognize. Seems like you want something more creative, what, whatever. And they just show you that they've been through this before. The feeling of being understood in a sales conversation is really important. And that's why the questions that you're asking that are almost leading, that show that you know what they're thinking, are gonna help you close deals. I've closed deals in like seven minutes. They were referrals, but I can almost skip 10 minutes of a conversation just by recognizing a specific buyer and just leapfrogging to exactly where their mind, they don't even know they're gonna be there yet, but I know it's going to end up there. So th that's how you position yourself, that's how you show that you can be trusted, that you do understand what their biggest concerns are. And of course, you wanna highlight some of those pain points as well and talk about maybe things that they're they're worried about. But like in the sales mastermind, we cover all of this and just understanding the buyer's journey, the, the timing of the buyer is also important. If you talk to somebody who is just thinking about buying a new car and you try to bring them into the dealership and you say, hey, come on, let's go check out some of this paperwork. And the person's like, I'm not even close to ready for that, that spot. Um, th that's the buyer's journey, but also knowing where the lead is coming from. Like, you may have somebody at the beginning of their buyer's journey coming from specific lead sources like directories or maybe like Facebook ads or whatever it is that you are doing to get these leads to come in. So recognizing that buyer's journey, where they're at in that, that process and that thought pattern and uh, getting close to the, the point of pulling the trigger and, and making a decision with a mobile bar, but then also knowing where those leads are coming from and knowing how to handle those conversations is really important. But to, to answer your question, I mean, first what you wanna do is just have a, a common question that you ask. And I, usually I say like, you know, what did you have anything specifically in mind for you know, level of service? Were you looking for a couple signature drinks? Were you looking for whiskey? Were you looking for draft beer? What is the most important to you? Or I may ask something about their guests and maybe based on the certain type of event that they're having, right? A corporate event is going to be a lot different than a wedding for instance, and a corporate event, they may be looking to basically find something that's in their budget, but makes them look smart for making that choice and getting something that does kind of elevate their you know company party, but 
doesn't break the bank and is you know they don't need every choice in the world versus a wedding who maybe they, they are looking for more choice and more presentation so it's really about uncovering what the buyer is looking for but making them feel like they're understood and that's why preparation is so important like the confidence and the energy it's going to come from you just having a really good service and you having more conversations seeing that you can deliver for clients uh, it's hard to fake that and if you're going to come with high energy and you're going to kind of just say the wrong things and you're only going to be focused on like the black and white guest count, where is it located, what packages do you want, like they're, they're not going to feel understood and there's going to be no connection there at all. So um, yeah, go check out the Sales Mastermind. It's going to be combined, the Sales and Marketing Mastermind. It's in the membership. It's going to help you with just understanding who the buyer is and really what questions to, to go ahead and ask.